Hey, it's Mike, and here's some more history. Here we are at the Judge's Shack on Island Beach, Island Beach State Park. Beautiful little spot right here. So, Island Beach State Park once had several residences that were similar to this one right here. And this is the only one remaining. So the property was purchased and uh, there was a guy by the name of Phipps who was Andrew Carnegie's Pittsburgh partner of sorts and uh, he wanted to turn it into a sort of uh, resort community for their, their rich people and um, so purchased it and there was already some houses out here and the way of life as it was out here at the time was these things were shacks now the judge's shack is actually way better than a lot of the other ones that were out here because they were made of all sorts of crap. They would use stuff that washed up from shore. They would use whatever kind of scrap wood they could to build these shanties. And in a lot of ways they were pretty smart because barrier islands are in a constant stage of flux. They're always changing. Sometimes they bust through in the middle and then it becomes another inlet Then you can't get through one way or another. We've already seen in the past couple of decades some of the barrier islands, uh, such as the Tucker's Island area and the, the southern end of the Pibrigantine and everything. It's detached and reattached and new barrier islands have been created out of nothing. It's amazing. But um, this one's amazing that it's still here. Uh, it originally was further up the shore. It was built in 1911. And then it was purchased by uh, Judge Hartshorn. It was in the 1940s or 50s or something. And he moved it down the island for a little bit more privacy. So, um, Phipps Zares uh, eventually sold uh, Island Beach to the state of New Jersey in the 1950s, and it opened up in a state, as a state park in 1959. Um, it's over eight miles long. Yeah, the barrier island here. It's got a lot of natural dunes. I would caution everybody to stay off of the dunes. The only reason this one's here is because there's an interpretive sign over here and, uh, and the judge's shanty. Look at that. I've been inside it, but I did that at work and I was allowed it at the time. It's not open to public, so just have a look at it. It looks really crazy from the shore because it's the only one of these buildings like this standing uh, after a long expanse of nothingness. Those, those buildings were all awful, awful. Uh, they were um, they were made of all sorts of things they would even use shipwrecks to uh, build buildings out of them back in the day so it's an interesting culture that has disappeared on uh, on island beach save for the judges shack and that's that